What's going on, y'all? It's your boy No Credit, and I'm back again with another one. I need you guys to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification icon for more videos like this. That being said, let's get into it. So Terrence Carver is on vacation currently with his, with his wife, girlfriend. I'm not sure if he's married, but um, he's on vacation right now currently. I believe they're in Bali. If I'm not mistaken, I seen a couple posts from Bud on uh on his Instagram page. And while he's on vacation, Earl Spence chose to break the internet. We know Earl Spence and Ryan Garcia is going back and forth trying to see who who can shock the world the most with crazy news. Earl Spence, he's saying whatever he gotta say. Ryan Garcia, he's saying whatever he got to say. But this ain't about Ryan Garcia. This is about Earl Spence and Teofimo Lopez. So we know a couple days ago, Earl Spence broke the internet when he finally broke his silence on his loss to Terrence Crawford. He blamed it on getting cataracts. He said, I had cataracts in my eye. I had to get cataract surgery. That's why Crawford hit me with so many jabs. Teofimo Lopez seen that. He recently did a like a 40-minute interview with Michelle Joy Phelps. And in this interview, Teofimo Lopez, he went off on Terrence Crawford. And I'm pretty sure Terrence Crawford seen it because Crawford responded to Teofimo Lopez with this post. You know, the first time... When it was Earl Spence, he responded and said, no comment. But now another fighter got his name in his mouth. He had to respond. I'm pretty sure he's seen a Teofimo Lopez interview because that one is blowing up. A lot of fighters, I know what they do. They go on Instagram. They go on, well, they go on YouTube, I meant to say. They come on YouTube channels. They come on their YouTube channel and they search their name up. And the first video that pop up, they watch it. And the video that's probably trending is Teofimo Lopez and Earl Spence. Both guys mentioning Terrence Crawford. And this is what Terrence Crawford had to say, probably after watching the Teofimo Lopez interview. Terrence Crawford says, hate it or love it. I'm just that guy. Anytime a fighter opens their mouth, my name in it. So what does that tell you? Terrence Crawford's era. So Terrence Crawford responds to Teofimo Lopez and Earl Spence mentioning him. He said, anytime a fighter opens his mouth, they mention me. Because it's my era. They can't they can't go without mentioning my name. So pretty much what he needs to do for for these guys to stop mentioning his name. He needs to retire these dudes. What he did to Earl Spence, he needs to do it to somebody else. You understand what I'm saying? Earl Spence is blaming on cataracts. I got another post for Earl Spence from Ishe Smith. I'm going to go in on Earl Spence in a separate video. But I think Crawford needs to really send a message to these guys. Look at this tweet from a fan. Spence uninjured stops you in four rounds. Unbelievable stuff from the fans. I don't think the beating Crawford gave to Spence was enough. Dale Spence is trying to take credit away from Crawford by saying he had cataracts. He's making it worse for himself, honestly. These dudes are, are digging a grave for themselves. And Crawford finna bury him. We know Earl Spence's famous, famous saying is, put him in the dirt. Well, Earl put his dick in the dirt. <laughs> Earl freak. That's some gay shit to say. But anyway, um, 
This Terrence Crawford very first respond to Earl Spence, and he said no comment when Earl Spence lied and said the reason why he got hit with so many jabs because he got cataracts, which makes absolutely no sense. Cataract or no cataract, you were still going to get hit with all of those jabs. The reason why, you don't have Mayweather-like defense. Earl Spence is not known for defense, so what the freak is he talking about? When has Earl Spence ever displayed some amazing defense where you said, man, Earl Spence has really good defense? Nobody has ever said that. And now Teofimo Lopez, he just wants to be in a mix. He want to attach his name to Crawford. In that 40-minute long interview, he mentions he called out Crawford. And Crawford is tied in a contract. So you know he's tied in a contract and you're still calling him out. So you're pretty much amends to saying you're clout chasing. Imagine if Terrence Crawford entertains Teofimo Lopez. I wonder if he's going to keep that same energy when Crawford uh, really stepped to him. Because he said, these fighters are stepping to me. And he said some out-of-pocket shit earlier on, well, on that interview. And I'm like, where's all this animosity coming from with Teo? Why, why he got something against Bud so much? And the reason why he got sent against Bud, because Bud is officially two-time undisputed, and Teo claims he's two-time undisputed, but he's never been undisputed. You know, people, you know, still today, people still think Teofimo Lopez is undisputed because of what Top Rank is doing. Top Rank can literally make people believe whatever they want to believe. But when we check the history book, Teo has never, and I mean never, ever been undisputed. He had an opportunity to become undisputed to fight Devin Haney. But for some reason, he's avoiding Devin Haney like a plague. He'd rather lose to anybody else. He'd rather lose to a George Gambosas before he loses to Devin Haney. I don't know what it is with him and Devin Haney. Why he don't like Devin so much? It's like he really, he hate Devin Haney with a passion. He'll fight. That's the crazy thing about it. He'll fight anybody in the world. But for some reason, he has no interest in fighting Devin Haney. I'm so confused. Why don't you want to fight Devin? I know he don't want to fight Shakur either. He don't want to fight Crawford for real, for real. But he only probably wants to fight him because he knows financially it's a big money fight. But he got to realize when you fight Crawford, it come with a prize. It comes with a, I said a prize. It comes with a price. If you fight Crawford, it comes with a with a price. That price is you may face retirement after the man is done with you. If the referee doesn't save you. So we got to make sure 20 weeks isn't there. We will want Teofimo out on his back or on his face. Teofimo Lopez is sound like Mikey Garcia. I see something. Well, go up there to 147 and show us what you see, buddy. But anyways, your boy, no credit. Terrence Crawford responds to Tafima Lopez and Earl Spence. These dudes can't keep my name out of their mouth. While the man on vacation, these dudes are running their mouth. But anyways, your boy, no credit. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification icon for more videos like this. If you want me to touch on a specific topic, you can tap my cash app for me and tell me what topic you want me to touch on. If you want me to do a whole live about a specific topic, tap the cash app. You know, I don't require too much on a cash app. Just tap it, whatever 
you feel equivalent to the video or the live. And I'll be happy to oblige your cash app. Appreciate the support. Appreciate everybody sharing the videos, liking the videos. Your boy, no credit, I'm out.